basically no one would um uh Nixon didn't have uh, a spaceship. Nixon the the there was there never was a USF spaceship. There never was um um a USAF spaceship. Never was. The most that, that they could do was basically little like puddle jumps basically. Um to basically well I think they were trying to get to Mars or something like that. They built some small ships, pretty much. The um, the Saturn V was basically like a little bitty model, pretty much. And I think they might have, they, maybe they would have gotten close, I don't know. But uh, basically it would have been cramped and all that other stuff. But I don't think they actually ever actually um, got any spaceships up. <clears throat> what, they, what they basically did, pretty much, is in 1950 or 1940, basically Nixon ran around killing a bunch of people, or before that. There were several successive clones of Nixon, basically. JFK, pretty much, um, clones, like three sets or four sets over quite a few years. And basically uh, what he, what they did was they ran around killing a bunch of people and pretty much things were getting a little hot for them. So what they did actually is, is it's like I said, they they had the, the LSF-71 um, uh, Blackbird depleted uranium ship. So they took a grinder to it and went, yeah, and cut off bits and pieces of, of, of the... Uh, of the LSF 71. They cut up one of them and then pounded it, ding, 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 into basically armor plate, pretty much. And then added some stuff and basically turned that into body armor, pretty much. And then and then they ran around and killed a bunch of people and stuff and, and things were getting hot for them. So they so they faked the whole moon mission and and all that other stuff. And like I said, what they would do is they would basically um, pre-record this 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 whole like 30 minute skit of them basically launching into orbit and then all the little things like mission control mission control and yes it's about to fight here <laughs> or buzz buzz uh, whatever um, and basically they're faking everything and basically um, pretty much like um, the, where they really messed up is 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 in the launch they did the <laughs> Uh, simulating, and then one guy would get, and the other guy would be like, "Oh, you don't read you." But the thing is, like I say, when you're actually launching in a spaceship, you don't hear the engines at all. So, like I said, a lot of the actual recordings of basically what JFK and Nixon and what they were doing at their little sound studio, or whatever was basically, I mean, that's why there's only bits and pieces of the, of the, in the merry little month of, uh, I mean, June. <laughs> because, uh, because they were planning to release it in, uh, they were planning on going on this killing spree and hit a couple places in, um, in, uh, in June, not May. So, but they're recording it in May. Uh, and then in June they would go and they would play the record, somebody would go click and play the recording into the, into the, into the thing, playing this whole thing that was basically, 24 hours of pretty much a radio show and then meanwhile with their suits on get the gold get the gold you know that's what they're really doing and basically um pretty much um you know they on the radio show it'd be like beep yes computers uh 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 Start killing now. And um, and they would do all these sound effects of what a what they thought a spaceship should sound like. And yes, we're coming in for a landing. And we're down. Everything's fine. Buzz is now going to the airlock door and he's going to open the airlock door. Depressurization sequence. I mean, <laughs> they messed up on all these things, all these procedures. Everyone else in the space program was like, was like, what? None of this makes sense. It's like, like it was basically just like a couple people and a mic. Like, what is this open mic night? Like, uh, um, and they actually put it as the the Apollo radio show, but they didn't say that. So. They put it as um, something else. 
Anyway, so basically it was a Apollo radio show. And like I said, and then later on, and then they released the vi some videos that they had in the archives. Basically, like, and this is this is live. This is live. This is our ship going up now. It's live. And they would always, and they would also say, "This is live. This is live. This is live." You know, in case you didn't get the meaning. I guess having the words printed on the TV screen, "This is live," wasn't enough. So. Anyway, and they would broadcast as both a radio show and other stuff, and they'd be like, and now a commercial from our sponsors. Ducky Little Bath Toys or Cereal. <laughs> they would always have, like, a sponsor thing, too. Like, you can get these in stores now. You know, and, um, and they would do all this advertisement stuff, too. And they hit up the advertisement people and all that other stuff. And so they did all this stuff, and it was basically just a radio show. You know, and then later on they had like, and these are the pictures of the Apollo moon mission. They took, the, uh, they took borax. They took a bunch of borax and they put it all out over the thing, over the, over the ground. I think it's borax. Yeah. People who looked, who looked at their recordings and said, that's borax. That's borax powder. They're walking in borax powder. Yeah. They, they, they took a, they took like, like three truckloads of borax powder and basically went, all over, all, all over the stage, and then they put, they hung a black sheet in the background, and then they were just walking across, and they were trying to trying to bounce to try, kind of try and simulate. You, you actually look at it; it looks so dorky. They actually had live video or or video, and they said, "This is live. This is live," and they showed it, and it looks so dorky because you can see that they they still weigh the same amount, but they're like trying to bounce, like like you know, but they're not really coming off the ground, so. Anyway, and so obviously it was faked, and then and that's why there's why they, they they later on just reposted it as basically just a bunch of stills of of the people standing and stuff like that. Anyway, and they even have this shot where that where the flag is actually blowing, and it's like solar dust. The solar winds are bad these, this time of year. And yeah, it was really bad. Anyway, JFK and Nixon, basically, the whole thing was a sham. 1940 to 1960 or so, or 1920 to 1960, there were no, no, no launches. Not even one. About all they, all they did, they, they used all their money to buy one Airstream, or, or Slipstream, or Airstream trailer, which was silver. And then they used a bunch of costume stuff. They used a bunch of, of cloth to make up these, these suits to make them look real. Or actually, no. I think they borrowed some suits from from from, from the Soviets or something. There there are some leftover suits somewhere. But anyway, it's all fake. Everything was fake. It wasn't until 1990s or something like that that they actually got something that looked real. Like if you go back and look at the old Nixon and JFK recordings, you'd be like, oh my god. Like they're they're still out there somewhere. They, they tried to delete them and burn them, I think, because as soon as you know. When the when when things were getting a little hot, you know, they were they were burning film as as fast as, and burning all the files and burning all the everything. Because like I said, these people they would put on their suits and then they would go and kill people. And and like I said, um, there are certain people, there are certain women that thought that their husbands were actually astronauts or test pilots, and then they found out that their astronauts couldn't even fly, didn't even know, you know, they they bought tickets. And it's like, yeah, that's my husband, and it wasn't their husband, of course. And I thought, uh, the, what they would do is they would go to the airfield and they would say, hey, could you buzz 22, uh, I mean, c could you fly by 22 Baker, whatever street? And and a pilot would be like, 50 bucks to go do, okay. And the pilots would go, <laughs> and the wife would be like, hey, honey. And they'd do a little wing, and, and an extra 20 bucks for, for if you do a wing waggle as you, as you, as you leave. Anyway... So Chuck Yeager um, um, and uh, and um, and John McCain and everyone basically pretty much just paid other pilots to fly them around. They never flew, not between 1920 and 1940. All part of a scam. The Nixon JFK Kennedy scam. Kennedys were dead from 1920 on and. They were basically bribing legitimate military people, my, my people actually, 
to basically do all the stuff. 